Hello, Inky Arcana here. Today I have a drawing that's a bit different than what I usually do, since I usually do more anime and manga type things, and this time I was trying a more realistic digital painting style drawing. Um, I was making this as a gift for my grandma for her birthday, and I wanted to just make it a little bit more realistic, though I'm not very good at it, so as you can see with the sketching here, uh, I was erasing it and redrawing it a lot because I was trying to get the proportions a bit more realistic and accurate, um, and I'm used to kind of exaggerating them in a more cartoony manner, so it still, in the final uh, drawing, it's not quite how I would like it to be, but I tried, so it's okay. I also had a lot of fun drawing the ocean and the sky here. I don't know, I don't usually draw backgrounds very much, so most of the time when I draw them, I think that they turn out looking uh, pretty bad, like very unrealistic, but for some reason when I draw ocean scenes, I mean, they're just so easy that I think it looks way better, at least I like how it looks more. I also really love blues and greens and just having lots of different shades together, so for me, drawing ocean scenes is the most fun background, so I really enjoyed doing this and taking all the different colors and blending them together. Um, honestly, like compared to most of the backgrounds I draw, I kind of like how this looks. And it's always a fun challenge to try something that I'm not really comfortable with, and I feel like I can push my skills to the limits and learn new things, which it's always nice, even if it doesn't turn out looking good. I appreciate practice and being able to just make things that uh, <laughs> take me out of my comfort zone. Drawing the people's clothing was somehow a bit easier like this to me. I don't really know why, but somehow just drawing blocking in the colors rather than using lines like I usually do, it somehow, maybe it was just more fun and a bit more relaxing than normal, but it felt a bit easier to me, so I enjoyed that. However, doing the skin and like the hands, that was quite a bit more difficult for me um, without lines. So I don't know, it's, it's easier in some ways, it's more difficult in some ways. And in general, it was really fun to get to experience the difference between drawing things in a more painty style versus the more cartoony or anime style that I do. The main difference in it is not the coloring, but just sort of the use of lines. Like in this one, uh, there's no outline on them, like the black outline that I usually use in cartoon or anime things that just keep your colors all separated and stuff. So I guess again, it's just really different in some ways, and it was really fun to get to see the ways in which it's different, and the ways that it's also the same. Like, coloring, it wasn't that much different for me, except that I did use a more soft coloring style, like I, uh, I blended it out just a bit more, because I wanted it to, I wanted the whole image to just have kind of a soft look to it, so I maybe in some places blended it a little bit too much, but I still think that it looks okay. I know these dark patches look awful right now, but I'm going to put them on a multiply layer so they'll look a little bit better. And I just wanted there to be some more extreme light, so I added some dark and light with multiply and add effects. And that's really all I have to say that I can think of. I really enjoy seeing when artists draw things in a different style than their normal style, and so I hope that someone out there enjoyed watching this as well. And just maybe got inspired to try something new yourself. That'd sure make me happy. Thank you for watching this whole video. If you'd like to see a drawing in my normal style, I'll have a little link to another video up on the screen. Well, until next time, love you, Bye bye